Hi there! Watch this video till the end because a lot of hacker rank problems from here on will be using what I'm going to be teaching you right now. In this one, we're going to be solving a medium problem which is called company logo. Hacker rank tells me that the success rate for this one is around 90%, so well done anybody who has done it. If you haven't, I'll teach you how to do it. If you've been visiting my channel before, you will know that I have a Jupyter Notebook on the right hand side of my screen and I've got the hacker rank problem on the left hand side. What is this problem? A newly opened multinational brand has decided to base their company logo on the three most common characters. That's the important bit. We will be given a company name as an example. Let me show it to you. For example, A, A, B, 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 C, C, D, E. That's a company name. Our job is to find the three most common characters. Essentially means that you need to count how many times A, how many times B, how many times C, how many times D and E. Find the top three, you need the top three. And then if there are the ones that are equal in the number of repetition, sort them alphabetically. So here, in this one, we've got three Bs, so that will be B3. We have got two A's and two C's, but A alphabetically sits on the top, then C comes into the game, and then that's it. We found the three top repeating characters. Let's see how to do this. I've got a Jupyter Notebook called 47 Company Logo. I've only made it for this exercise. If I press Control-B on Windows or Command-B on Mac, that pane hides. Look at that. That's gone. And now I can only see my Jupyter Notebook play area. Let's do something. Let's first quickly copy these lines into my Jupyter Notebook. And I will tell you what this weird line really means. I've got a video on this one, the link is up the top right, that will tell you what this weird line really means. But in essence, we use this line when we want to run the program directly. So this line becomes important when you are trying to either run the program or execute it directly or in another program through an indirect execution. Watch my video on it and you will understand it very easily. So let's see how do we run this task. First things first, let me just clean my Jupyter Notebook a bit. I will be move these two lines out of this cell because I like to keep this one for my libraries. Paste them here. And now let me open a new cell because I want to show you how things will be running. One, from hacker rank, I know that I will be getting an input from the user. So let's use that just a bit separately. I'll put it here and let's just make sure there are no spaces behind that. If I run that, the program will ask me to enter the company name. Let me do that. I'll just copy exactly what is here, copy that and paste it here, run. And if I open a new cell and print S, and S is the string that I received through the input function. If you haven't seen my video on input function, the link is up the top right. Let's just print it and you will see that, yep, it's A, A, triple B, double C, D, E. The task is how do I find characters that have got the most repetition within that name? Before I go through finding that, remember that I will need to sort this. Irrespective of how many times they repeat, the sorting based on the alphabet will be there anyways. Let me do the sorting. So what I will do, open a new cell. And if I say sorted S, you can see that it has broken it into a list and has sorted that based on the alphabetical order. So I haven't saved sorted S anywhere. I just displayed it. So let me save it back into S. So I received something from the user. I saved it in a container called S. Now I am sorting it and I'm putting it back into S. I don't need to keep what the user had initially given me. As I go, I will update. That's what I'm doing. Okay, let's make just one more cell. I need a container like a bowl, like a bag, like a basket or let's just call it frequency, which will be an empty dictionary that I will use to loop on the alphabets and put how many times they have been repeated. I could use the counter function from the collections module, but for now, let's use a loop and then I will show you how to do that with a counter function. Let's write a loop to go over the alphabet. So for letter, if you wanna call it letter or a character, whatever, in S, print, letter. I just want to show it to you. You can see that this loop prints these letters one by one. So that's good. If I get them one by one, I can count them and I say, I have seen one of these, two of these, three of these. That's what I will do. I will say an if condition. If letter is already in frequency, if you have already seen it, then all you need to do is in that frequency dictionary for that letter, add one to it. And this is the fancy way of writing it. 
If you don't want to write it fancy, just write it like this. So delete what I have written there and say that equals what we already know about that letter plus one. Do you want to look like a professional programmer? This line here is exactly equal to this line here. So they are exactly the same thing. One is not a very professional way of writing code, but Python allows you to do it like this. So I think this is something that you should take your pen out and write it down. So let me get rid of the other line because I don't want to do it two times. I just need to do it one time. If you've already seen the letter, add one to it. Otherwise, all you need to do is just for that letter equal one. Let me tell you what happened. This A comes into the loop from here. And let me get rid of the print. I don't need to print anymore. In the loop, A comes down and then says, hey, have you seen A in the frequency? Well, first time round, frequency is empty. It will say, no, 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 I haven't seen it. So it will skip these two lines. It will come down here. It says, have you seen A in frequency? No, it's an empty one. Okay, make it from zero into one. That's what happens for this one. But when the next A comes in, frequency for A is not zero anymore. So it says, have you seen A in frequency? It says, yeah, 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 I have seen it. What did it used to be? It was one. Okay, add one to it and it makes it two. So if I run this now, and if I show you frequency, you will see that frequency says you've got two A's, three B's, two C's, one D and one E, and they are alphabetically ordered. Now, I'll show you something magical. If you want to sort this frequency dictionary, you will have to use the sorted function. Sorted what am I sorting? I am sorting the frequency dictionary, so frequency, but I will need to, to take the items out of it. And the items are A2, B3, C2. Both of them at the same time is one item. I need to sort them based on the value. Okay, value is the number and the key is the letter. So let's do that. I will sort those items. So let's do that. The rest of this will be just a bit magical. I will put a link up the top right for the Lambda key in sorting dictionaries, but you just need a key defined. So the key will be Lambda based on negative X starting from X1 all the way to x0. This will sort the dictionary based on values, which are the numbers. You can see that now I have sorted a dictionary based on their occurrences, and it's also alphabetically ordered. But have I saved this anywhere? I haven't. I have just run that on the fly. So let's go to the beginning of the dictionary and say frequency sorted equals this. So now that has been stored in frequency sorted. And from here on, it's just easy. I need to print the top three because it's ordered in ascending order. All right, to do that, let's make a for loop and say for key and value in frequency sorted dictionary from first one to third one, print key and value. You will see that now I have exactly the output that hacker rank is expecting me to build. So let's transfer some of that code into hacker rank. I have S equals input, so I don't need that. I don't need to print it. I will need the sorting of S best than alphabet. So oops. I will need the sorting of S, that's for sure. I will need the frequency count. So leave that here. Now that I have pasted that here, all I need to do is to bring this one in to sort based on values. And then this last bit will be what we need to run the code. Let's run the code and see if it works. Um, I think there is indentation error. Let me just make this screen bigger. I can't see which one have I indented, which one I have it. So we've got all of that correct. Frequency, yes, that's print function that is not really indented here. Run the code again. And it says, congratulations, you have passed the sample test cases. So that was only the sample test case. Let's submit the code to see if it will run all the test cases. Yep. It was all successful. It executed with success. And you can see that I've earned 30 points. But do not stop it right now because there is a better way and easier way than what I did. Let me go back to my Jupyter Notebook because I want to show you how to run this even easier. I'm not going to do it in a hacker rank. I want to show it on Jupyter Notebook. Let me make it bigger. So you know how we went through all of this problem of you know trying to sort and running a loop? 
you can use the counter function from the collections library. All you need to do is from collections import counter. So once you import the counter function, you can rewrite this way easier. I will do that in one go. So you will input the S, the user gives that to you, and then you will sort S, which we have done before, nothing new here. All you need to do is to call your frequency, frequency equal counter of S. So let me print frequency so that you can see it. It will ask us what is the input. Let me copy the input from here, just being lazy, paste it here, and you will see that counter returns B3, A2, C2. So for all of these five lines or even more, I have used just one line. If you like this video, hit the like button, turn on the bell notification, and send it to your friends who can use this video. Thank you.